Welcome back. Leave the conditioner on, they said. Mm. Okay, we'll give it a go. Uh, so yeah, welcome back to the vlog. We're here again, and this will be the last comparative review that I'm going to do for a while. Uh, it's been fun while it lasted, but uh, we don't want to press the point too far. But uh, yeah, another couple of reviews, and see if you might be intrigued as to which one is which on this final occasion. So once again, and for the last time for a while, excuse me while I look away from the camera to read the reviews. Bear with me. Right, uh, review number one. Great effort for a first book. The attention to detail and descriptions are comprehensive and really help to paint the picture of the story. Think the fly meeting Red Dwarf with a bit of Pulp Fiction and Dusk Till Dawn thrown in for good measure. Serious in places, light-hearted in others, with a bit of good old love story running through the plot. Too good to be true. Five stars. Okay, that's, that's a pretty comprehensive review. So let's see what the other one says. Review number two. As a workout for the brain, reading this was an activity marginally less testing than watching an episode of Neighbours. And that, at least, is vaguely about real life. We are a country of, with dramatically declining standards of literacy, increasingly dragged down to the lowest common denominator by the purveyors of all forms of mindless mass entertainment. What I do object to is a pedestrian, ungrammatical prose style which has left me with a headache and a sense of a wasted opportunity. The characters, unlike life, are black and white. The storylines are predictable. The suspense is minimal. The sentimentality cloys at every page. That's pretty horrible. <laughs> OK, so would you be surprised to find? Well, you won't be surprised because, you know, you know, the way I've been doing this for a few weeks. But I think you might be surprised at the, uh, the detail of it is that that final review that I read, if you haven't guessed it already, it's Harry Potter, which was the first book by J.K. Rowling. As compared to the first review, which was very glowing, which is the first book by Hair Flick himself, E.C. Johnson, Breaking the Tranquility of Solitude. So if you want to find out how and why I've managed to get reviews that are so uh, impressive, why not read the book yourself and give me your opinions? All I'm after is honesty. So have a look at Breaking the Tranquility of Solitude, either part one or part two, and leave me a review on Amazon, because whether you like it or not, it may help me to hit the heights that JK has done. Uh, jealousy, yes, definitely. But I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but it's an amazing book. Absolutely amazing, and has sold 120 million copies. So let me uh, encourage you to help me do the same. Thanks very much for watching the last four weeks and next week we will try and get into something equally as mad but maybe a little different. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye bye.